Hello, this is B Flummy. Uh, I've got a video. Uh, I have someone told me that I should do some more futuristic armor and weaponry, so I figured should I should actually get around to doing something. So um, I took I made made a template here and and uh, started to draw on top of it. I I took the template. I made a transparent copy with my printer so that I could draw over it, you know, with relative ease. So I'm I'm sorry the um, shadow of my hand got over what I was doing a lot of the time, but uh right now I'm uh finding out the helmet. Um he's going to have this uh, you know, gas mask. Um in fu futuristic warfare, I expect there's probably going to be a lot of chemical um warfare and the uh, and also if you're battling on another planet, it it makes sense if oxygen levels aren't equal to um most conditions. Um just some adding some touches to the helmet to make it uh, look interesting. You don't usually want to add too much to the helmet or else it sort of looks bizarre, but you want to have enough that it sort of fills the space and and um, it, it keeps the person's attention because the, the helmet is the face and the face is usually the part that you want people attracted to um, and paying att attention to. So making the, uh, the shoulder here, these sort of uh, straps that come over the uh, chest plate and connect to the back plate and hold the form together. Um, I just started to go over these um, shoulder plates. Uh, later I, I'd come back and um, extend them because they didn't quite fit the form that I wanted. Um, I was going, I tried to make this um, this, this start on the, um, the abdomen guard, which has to be flexible to, um, to hold everything together, but I decided to um, start with the, uh, the, um, the uh, hipular guard first, and then and then um, connect in between, so that I had had an idea what I was doing. So here's something that I I, I decided that I liked um some sort of blast proof um material um, plated with some you know carbon fiber or something um, sort of a, as a skirt. Um, it makes a lot more sense because you want um you want you want flexibility while you're in battle, and um, you, you don't want to be too restricted. Um, decided to make some sort of weird leg guard, you know, keep it a little more interesting, and added some added um, some more bizarre footwear. I had no idea what I was doing, but it looked decently cool. <laughs> um, I topped off. I like these sort of like things coming out of the tips of the foot. These um, projections. I don't know exactly what to call them, but I I've always liked sort of those things. Um, made it started on arm cannon. Um, these little like bolted devices you you can you can see um on the on the forearm. Um, that's so that you could like, if you had some sort of arming chamber or something, you can you can screw these on to the um the armor and unscrew them and put another part on. And it allows for um for quick um battle momentary changes that you might need when you're suiting out a team. You know. You make it quick, and you don't have to like remake armor every time you um, you you need to make that change. So, like I said, I'm changing the um, the um, shoulder guards here, and just finishing up with the upper arm. And I'm doing it for the other side. Um, now I'm you know starting to work on the forearm. I can't decide exactly if I want to put a gun on the. Uh, at their arm, but I'll I'll uh, go through with it in in just a second. Decided something more like a sort of like a sniper rifle. Um, you know, I I went through, started making it, um, then just yeah, I can't make it that big or else it wouldn't mess with things. And so I decided to you know cut it off a little bit and and uh, and yeah, and that just didn't look right right there, even you know with the um the ammo strip, so I decided to add a, a backward extension to give it some uh support. I'll do that in just there we are <coughs> so that's why it's supported on both sides, and you know it doesn't outweigh the arm I'm making those uh bolt contraptions again on the uh on the forearm. All right, so now I'm just adding some final touches on the the legs and making sure they look right. And I think that's about it. I'm going to put a little uh, 
maybe a symbol holder in the in the corner and um and that's it uh thank you for watching